I thought the ending was really, really beautiful and it felt hopeful and inspirational. Because I, <laughs> because I don't understand what the hell is going on. Oh, what a pink theme. I've gone up to page 280 in this one. Where the first daughter is born for the throne and the second daughter is born for the wolf. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and a new reading vlog. Today is Tuesday and my hair is still kind of wet. I just had a shower. Um, it is Tuesday morning. It's around 10.30. I work evening today so I have the morning off which is really nice and I just slept in and I've been reading and showering and eating breakfast so I've been having a really chill morning before work and I thought it was time to start a new reading vlog and talk to you guys about the two books that I'm currently reading and I have them right here. Oh, what a pink theme. That's amazing. I am currently reading The Gracier by Kim Lidget and I'm soon done with it. I am on page 351 so my goal for the day is to finish this one. I should be able to do it since I do have a little bit of time before I need to head to work. I'm gonna try and sit down and finish this one. This is a really cool YA fantasy story and in this world when the girls turn 16 they are kind of banished from the kind of banished to go on to this gracier to get rid and get rinsed of their magic that they possess so they can come back clean and in this world it's really messed up the women are treated horribly and it's just a really messed up world and we follow this one girl mainly throughout this grace year and how a lot of girls don't come back alive and you follow her and her friends as they are trying to survive this thing and it's really really good i'm really enjoying it and i'm excited to see how it ends and then i picked up another book last night and that is the return by rachel harrison this was honestly purely a cover by i haven't heard anything about it until I picked it up and like I've never seen it anywhere but I love the cover so I've decided to pick it up and I've gotten up to page 73 and I'm loving it like I'm loving it so much more than I thought I ever would which is amazing it is a thriller and we follow this like friend group I think they are four girls in total and one day one of the girls Jules I think Julie goes missing and they presume her dead they even have like this funeral for her and then jump forward two years she returns and she doesn't have any memory of what happened to her like all of her two years are missing from her head like she can't remember a single thing which is really odd and really weird and her friends are trying to respect her but they don't really believe that they don't want to push her they want to give her time to like come back because she's obviously been gone for two years and it seems to be that she has been through through something traumatic and obviously that's horrible but i just think it's really messed up that she's been gone for two years and she comes back all of a sudden she's, she's sitting on her porch 
and she can't remember the two years like it's just really weird and where i'm at now we have these four girls coming together at a hotel like because they wanted like a girls weekend and to like help her come back to life come back to society and you have i just really like the setting of this hotel it's just really nice hotel where the rooms have different themes so like really extreme themes which actually brought me back to a memory that i have when i was in california with my family in 2014 i believe we stayed at madonna inn i think it was called it was like on the highway like between san francisco and la when we were driving and we stayed there and it was just this really really cool inn where the rooms were so extreme i just remember it so clearly it was really cool and it kind of reminded me of this because the different rooms here have like so big and majestic themes which is really fun to read about it so that's where i'm at these girls have come together because like they're old friends and they just really mean a lot to each other and they're gonna help julie come back into society and kind of help her and be supportive of her but i'm getting a little bit weird vibes of this hotel it's something weird about the hotel I'm not sure if anything's gonna happen there but I'm just getting really weird vibes from the hotel and from the hotel manager and stuff. Just really creepy stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I just think this is such a cool thing. Kind of reminded me of Pretty Little Liars <laughs> when she comes back to life after X amount of years. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm excited to see like... I hope we get some answers soon because for me, it's just really odd. She's come back after two years and she doesn't have a single memory of what happened to her. Like what... I don't understand but yeah i'm really really enjoying it i'm so glad i finally picked it up i uh, just loving it but yeah i do have a little bit of time before i need to head to work so i'm just gonna sit on the couch and get some reading done i will think i will try to finish the gray year that will be the goal for this morning i think it's a little while later and i wanted to say that i finished the gray year by kim Lidget and I thought it was a really good book. Usually I don't like books like this. I mentioned in my last reading vlog that it kind of reminded me of Nevermore, which is a really popular middle grade fantasy series that I didn't really enjoy. I actually DNF'd it and I've even unhauled it so I don't own it anymore, but this actually was really, really good. It was really interesting to follow mainly this girl that when she was in her grace year and how things worked out and I thought the ending was really really beautiful and it felt hopeful and inspirational because in this world the women are just treated horribly and the ending was just really inspirational and you felt kind of like a hope for the future of, of every woman and it was just truly truly amazing and I did really really enjoy it and then I have been reading a little bit in the return which I'm enjoying a lot and I've gotten up to page 137 and I unfortunately have to put it down now because I have to head to work but it's really really creepy so you know we have a julie coming back after two years and she's obviously a little bit different there were one scene when they these four girls are in this hotel right and they were having dinner and drinks um and julie ordered a steak but she has been a vegetarian her entire life and she would freak out like you, you got a flashback and like she would freak out over the tiniest little bit of meat that she accidentally ate once years back but now she's ordering meat and like eating that like it's no big deal and just a little small weird things like that that makes them not recognize julie anymore but like it's her but she's just different and the hotel seems really weird as well because when one of the girls came back after dinner they have like each and every one have their own room because they wanted to check out all the cool rooms because every each and every one of the rooms have different themes so they all are living like on their own having their own hotel room and when one of the girls came back after dinner she felt like something was out of place like the room was not how she left it which is really creepy and also she's seeing like shadows throughout her hotel room just really creepy and also like there's no people there like the girl who booked the hotel said it was like full booked it's a really popular hotel but like there's no one there except them which is really odd really creepy so i'm thinking it's something going on with this hotel and something's gonna happen also they were watching a movie at their movie theater and they were standing under a like vent and it was like dripping something red blood like i think it's blood but like they kind of brushed it off saying it was like old water or something but like it's creepy it's really good i'm loving it i just think 
I just hope we get some answers to like where Julie has been for the last two years and it, I just don't understand but like it's really good it's a perfect thriller I'm just enjoying it so much but yeah I have to head to work and I will see you guys either tonight or tomorrow hello guys it is the next day which means it's Wednesday I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about the book that I'm reading the return um, I've gotten up to page 191 so like I've just started reading for the day I am plan to read a lot more I actually might even finish it today because I didn't realize how fast this was gonna go and like it's quite a short book and like the pages are you know big and the text is pretty big so I think I might even be able to finish it today or tomorrow which is amazing like wow don't remember a time when I finished two books in a week which is just crazy great for me <laughs> but okay so I understand that these girls are worried about Julie since you know obviously she's been gone for two years and god knows what has happened to her and but what I don't understand is they really think something is off but and i get that they're worried but at the same time of course it's going to be different she's been gone for two years anything could have happened to her of course it's going to be different like you would expect her to be different of course she's going to look sick of course she's gonna have wounds of course she's gonna act different because she's been gone for two years she's been taking two years from her life so of course she's gonna act different but these girls are really really worried and they're kind of scared of her even so we follow actually i don't think i mentioned this one but we have these four girls right but the book's perspective is actually from one of the girls elise i think she's called so we follow her perspective and she is in contact with julie's husband julie got married to him before she went missing and julie no elise talks to julie's husband behind her back because she really thinks something is is off and wrong and they're kind of scared of her um elise and julie's husband um, so I'm, I don't understand. I wonder because I haven't looked up any spoilers I'm not gonna do that because I want to be surprised So I wonder if it's gonna be a thriller where there are supernatural Creatures involved like if she has turned into something or if it's just gonna be like a normal thriller that she's been abducted or and You know what I mean? Like I don't know what where it's going um, but I'm really excited to see because as these people are talking about her, they're really scared of her. Like she's some like she's turning to some kind of creature, and I don't know if that's the turn it's taking or if it's just like a normal thriller where she has been abducted and she's obviously handling it her own way. I just don't really know, um, and I'm not gonna look it up until I finish it because um, I want to find out along the way. But I'm really enjoying it. I just have these questions that I'm just like, I don't know. It's a little bit weird. That's all. But yeah, I am going to go and sit down, read some more, hopefully get some answers, and I will probably and hopefully talk to you guys about them if I have them, hopefully. <laughs> it's a little bit later. I've gotten up to page 232, and I don't know if you can see it, but I've <laughs> almost been crying a little bit just because I've been laughing because I, <laughs> because I don't understand what the hell is going on. I was literally laughing my way through the end of this chapter that I just read because <laughs> I'm just really confused. Um, but the chapter just ended and the end of this chapter, we found out something or like something weird was happening with the Julie. And now I'm wondering like what, is this going where I think it's going? Um, so I'm going to sit down and read more right now because I'm soon done with it. I just hope we get some answers now because I'm like freaking out like what the heck okay so it's a little while later and I wanted to tell you guys that I finished The Return by Rachel Harrison and I don't really know what to say or what to think buying this and going into this definitely didn't expect what I got I feel like it was quite a good book i was really intrigued i had fun as you saw like i think it was a good thriller but it was definitely not what i was expecting i feel like we had a lot of build up throughout this entire book and then the last two or three chapters was when you got all the answers which makes you like you know you you have all these questions until you get up to the point where you actually get the answers but <laughs> Um, yeah, the ending, don't know how to feel about it. I 
I did think it was a little bit weird. A lot of weird stuff going on and I can't wait to actually, I'm gonna look up some reviews on Goodread to see what people thought of this, if people liked it or not. I don't know what rating I'm gonna give it, maybe like a three star, like an average, I would say. Definitely nothing too, too special, but I did enjoy it. I had a lot of fun, just a little bit odd. It had some disturbing moments, some disturbing scenes, explaining stuff. Weird, a little bit odd, but it was, I don't know, it was fun. It was, it was a good thriller, I would say, but just a little bit odd, a little bit weird at times. <laughs> so I am probably gonna process that a little before I pick up my next book, which I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I will let you guys know once I've processed this one a little and decided what book I'm gonna pick up next, I will talk to you guys. <laughs> it is quite later in the evening, it's actually around like nine i'm heading to bed soon but i wanted to tell you guys the book that i decided to pick up or that i'm going to pick up and that is for the wolf by hannah witten i think this is her debut novel which is very exciting and i've seen it quite everywhere so and i've been having it for a while on my shelf so i thought it was time finally time to pick it up i don't know if it's a ya fantasy or adult fantasy i actually don't know i might look that up actually i don't know why i haven't but yeah it's a fantasy i don't know too much about it which i don't want to going into it but i've heard great reviews of it but i'm trying not to go in with too high expectations but yeah i'm actually heading to bed but i might read a little bit before i fall asleep but i will probably just update you guys tomorrow about that or the next time i will have an update but i wanted to tell you guys at least that this is the book that i'm picking up and i'm very very excited about it Hello guys, it is Thursday, it's already evening, I have had a really good day, I've been off today because I worked the weekend, yet again, I usually don't have two weekends in a row, but I have now, which kind of, I mean it's actually pretty fun because I mean that, that means that you're off more during the week, which I really like because if you want to do something then it's going to be a lot more calmer outside because people work, you know? I love it. I kind of like it actually. So, so yeah, I've had a really good day. I did an errand this morning that was really important. Then I was really glad that that's over and that's done. Um, good job, girl. 
and then I met up my mom for lunch because she was also off today so we had delicious coffee and a delicious lunch and then I've been at my parents house hanging out with them the cats it's just been such a good day like a really cool self-care day I've just been so happy all day we also went around the city a little bit and I actually bought some books because like we have this one bookstore here where I live and they have never had good books like that I would enjoy in English but this time they had a pretty good selection and I was like so surprised and that just made my entire day um, I was so happy they have obviously probably gotten a lot of requests because a lot of teens here today also like in Sweden reads in English so I think they just gotten a lot of requests and that they finally have a lot more to pick from in English and I'm so excited about it like they had Stephen King, Dan Brown, Colin Hoover like they have never had anything like that before like in English so I'm so freaking excited and I have four books to show you um but first I thought I would update you guys on the book that I'm currently reading for the wolf I haven't read a lot I'm only on page 36 and I haven't gone into the story yet so I can't say too much I feel like I can't give a good explanation I feel like but I do think this is a red rising red riding hood retelling and we have this world where the second daughter when she's born she's supposed to be sacrificed for to the wolf and the wolf is kind of this legend but the wolf is not actually a monster, it's actually a man. It says back here, so it's not a spoiler. And she's supposed to be sacrificed like for him or taken by him or something. I, I haven't really understood it yet, the world. Fantasy just takes a little bit for me to get into sometimes. Sometimes I'm just not in the right mindset for it. But I am enjoying the vibes and I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm planning on reading more tonight. I'm just gonna hop in the shower because I just got home and then I will sit down and read some more to understand more, I guess. Then I also want to show you a late birthday present that I got that hadn't arrived when I was at my parents' house on my birthday, but it had arrived now, so I got it, and that is Doctor Sleep by Stephen King. This was actually on my wish list, so I'm so glad that I got it. I'm really, really excited about it. Love the cover, it just looks really cool. I don't know what this is about too much, which I don't want to know. I just want to go into Stephen King books not knowing too much, though, but yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. And then I ended up picking up four books at the bookstore here, and I'm so excited about all of them. Oh my gosh, okay. The one that I'm most excited about that I've been wanting to read and I've been wanting to buy but I just haven't gone to it and when I saw it when I saw it I tell you I screamed no I didn't but like I wanted to scream I picked it up immediately and I was just so happy about it and that is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne of course like this is a freaking movie now and I haven't read it yet can't wait to I will probably vlog it I want to do a vlog on it I just want to have fun with it I'm so freaking excited then I got November 9 by Colin Hoover not a big fan of this cover to be honest but they had it. It was Colin Hoover. I just needed to get it. Um, love her. Yes, yes. Then I saw another one that I was really interested in that I've been wanting to pick up, but I haven't been too excited. But then I saw it and I just needed to get it. And that is People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Hendry. She's the author of Beach Read, which I haven't read either, but like I really want to. And I've heard great reviews of this. So this seems to be like a perfect summer read or even spring read. So I will probably wait for that. But like I'm so excited about this one. The last book I got actually haven't heard of, but it sounded really cool and I love the cover, so and that is Better Off Dead. Never heard of the author, never heard of the book, I've never seen it anywhere, but like I love the cover and it sounded really cool, so I'm just really excited about it. Yeah, that's it. That's the book called. <laughs> but yeah, these are the four books that I got and I'm so freaking excited about all of them. Can't believe that this was such a good cut, like that they had these many good books in my local bookstore. Like, what a time. What a time to be alive. But yeah, now I'm gonna hop in the shower. I think it's a wash day. I would want to do it tomorrow, but tomorrow I have a really long work day. So I don't think I will have the energy to do that. Um, so I think I'm gonna do it tonight so I, my future self can thank me. I'm gonna thank myself tomorrow. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and then I will sit down and try to read some more in For the Wolf. Hello guys, it is Friday. It's around noon and I actually just got ready to head to work. I really need to go, but I wanted to do an update for For the Wolf. I've actually been waiting quite a bit since I last updated you guys. I've gotten up to page 140 and I'm actually really enjoying it. So I'm not in the biggest fantasy mood, but I'm actually enjoying it and I want to continue reading it, which is great. And I feel like I've gotten a little bit more into this story now. So we basically have this like a royal family where the first daughter is born for the throne and the second daughter is born for the wolf and the wolf is kind of this legend that everyone is kind of scared of but red her name is red the second daughter realizes that the wolf is actually not a monster he's just a man and she wants to 
get away from her family to save her family because she has magic that is dangerous and she doesn't want to hurt more people that she loves. So, so she kind of runs off to the wolf and where I'm at now, she's with him in his world trying to protect her family. And it's giving me a little bit of, what's that? Uh, Curse of Dark and Lonely vibes. A little bit of those vibes, but um, a little bit different, obviously. But I'm really, really enjoying it and I'm hoping to get more into it tomorrow or tonight when I get home. But yeah, a really cool fantasy story so far. But yeah, I really need to head to work. Hello guys, it is Sunday and I thought it would be time to wrap this reading vlog up. I'm sorry I haven't updated too much this weekend, but I've just been working, which obviously like I'm tired after that and stuff but i actually have been reading quite a bit even though i haven't <coughs> talked about it it's been a great reading weekend actually and i even brought the book on my break yesterday at work which like tells you guys a lot of how much i'm enjoying this one because i never read on my break i always just want to nap <laughs> but um that was amazing but i've gone up to page 280 in this one so that's quite a lot for a fantasy book in my opinion since i do have Quite a hard time getting into fantasy lately, but I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. I said it kind of reminded me of The Curse of Dark and Lonely, which it still does. The romance, I feel like it's kind of similar in the curse thing and the legend thing. But yeah, also what I don't think I mentioned is that we have like two perspectives or how to say it. You have like, you follow Red when she is in this world with the wolf but you also follow her sister's perspective the first daughter as she's trying to rescue her and get her home so i just really like that and i'm enjoying it so so much but i'm heading to work now so i won't be reading more today because i'll be home really late and i have work early in the morning tomorrow so unfortunately i have to put it down for today and this week but yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in one of my next videos bye